I think um, these um, these reactions are um, going are even more extreme when you play live because you know if you listen to some music uh, on a radio or uh, you know on a podcast um, there is less expectation and for example on a live set or in a club contest in a festival there are some expectation from what you know what is playing and uh, so the the, um, the one of, I had kind of strong reactions uh, of people complaining with me uh, while I was playing, uh, coming uh, up on stage or on, uh, on my desk and say like, hey, please come on, uh, drop, yeah, drop this kick, uh, you know, when, when it's coming, or just saying like, DJ, I remember in Turkey, in um, Istanbul, and people uh, saying to me DJ boom 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 so they, they wanted the kick um, so I think the most extreme um, reaction I got uh, while I was playing live of people really stressing out about uh, getting the drop that um, it, it doesn't really come I studied musicology so I can I can see now that uh, everything I do and um, like music I I make it's always is to understand something at the end it's really like oh, of course I make music and uh, music um, exist in itself you know doesn't matter what the concept behind it or not. but uh, for me it's also like uh, a way of discovering things for real so when i decided to um, start working in these directions uh, uh, working with um, these sounds this um, musical uh, structure connected to a, pro a context that is the rave, the club context, the euphoria, the party, but not giving this, you know, release uh, with the drop, uh, um, to me was a choice of, uh, you know, like a conceptual choice, but uh, uh, of course, like I don't want the people having the manual of uh, instruction to enjoy or not my music so for me it's important to have all to to play and to um, see how is working this through the music but actually i make music for everyone you know i understand that some uh, that the one of the characteristic uh, that is not um, releasing in something you know on a big kick or in uh, is not releasing in something is just to uh, keep going and going and maybe like um, develop just a bit is something that is not everyone uh, could you know enjoy at 100 percent so maybe they don't like and there are some people that understand and I also find it interesting and um, find this is uh, some satisfaction also without uh, proper drop. I basically grew up in in the two ext grow I uh, grew up in my teenage years um, playing in pa punk hardcore bands and uh, going uh, to these huge party, uh, parties and raves. But th these parties was like, were in Rimini, in my hometown, with like huge um, clubs where it can fit uh, 7,000 people. And um, it was really at the point that uh, like trance, our trance, techno was mainstream. So, um, Actually, like my friends from one side were all interested on on this kind of stuff, and all part of other friends um, they were playing with in bands with me. So I was at really two extremes, um, especially because the punk hardcore uh, scene was the straight edge scene. So 
uh, was about not drinking and not using drugs while the other guys were like ex ex exactly the opposite i grew up in this contest and um, and this is uh, the way i experienced these uh, parties and not illegal raves just huge raves uh, not yeah i they were not uh, illegal they were just very big and because the this music was very popular in italy in, in that period um but i was going there um, completely sober so i i was experiencing this contest in a very personal way and um, this is why i started to uh, call my music Ray Voyeurism uh, and um, because it's really like uh, connected to the way I I was experiencing this uh, this place and this environment like uh, being uh, kind of a voyeur I was very um, I was uh, un un I was understanding what was happening uh, 100 percent while my friends were like in another state you know um, and this was I, I was not uh, complaining I was not the one who was saying ah, I want to go home you not know, seated uh, in the sofa you not know, waiting for driving back but I was just experiencing this in a different way and uh, that was very important. Uh, to also develop a different idea of music. I always say that uh, if uh, um, I was not uh, still enthusiastic about music, there was not really a reason to keep uh, making uh, music and because I think everyone who be, be, with the music become his job started uh, from uh, a big uh, passion and uh, enthusiasm you know, of uh, going to concert and also producing music at home. But, so I, I still follow music a lot, I go to concert, I'm, I'm lucky because many times that I play around um, there are other people playing with me so I I the concert I see concerts you know just uh, um, playing uh, uh, but um, I have to say that I what I listening is a lot of rock music still uh, so uh, rock concert or like uh, bands that reunion like all the bands that are coming uh, in Milan uh, these are the concerts I go uh, even if I'm happy at festival to see a lot of electronic music, the concert I go is like I went to see Deftones, I went to see At the Drive In, I went to see a Negative Approach, uh, old um, old band. So yeah, I go to a lot of rock concert, and uh, yeah, I, I next. Uh, Give a gig of mine, uh, big one is in Sonar in Barcelona, so I'm looking forward, forward to that one. I, I'm very passionate of um, photography. Uh, I mean, I, I love ska skateboarding. If you, if you ask me what you do for uh, uh, release the stress, I go skateboarding because I never stopped but i'm getting old so it's better to keep uh, maybe it's better to look at photography <laughs> and uh, no i um, i just love uh, making photos i always um being uh, uh, interested in photography since uh, i was young uh, uh, since i was uh, touring with bands when i was touring with bands i was uh, taking pictures and actually i say I'm, I, I can say that I'm um, I, I'm a photographer. I wanted to always to say in an interview that I'm a photographer that uh, survived making music, because actually my the longest project I have is this um, is this book I want to release in the future uh, about um, about uh, me uh, playing. Uh, 
music around because it's as I said it's since I started going uh, on tour that I make photos so I you can imagine how many pictures I have of um, uh, artists that uh, stopped making music and other artists that became uh, very big artists you know so it's I think uh, it will be in five years maybe uh, I will release a book about all of this.